I want to ask you about the future, first the students and then for the university. Uh, but a lot has changed in, in five decades. What is the biggest challenge going forward for students? Well, the world is really different now. Um, the technology that has changed during that amount of time has made all of them different people than I was because I took typing. <laughs> and We wrote in cursive. <laughs> we wrote in cursive. It's cursive. <laughs> yeah. And today they don't know how to type except with two thumbs. I, I take that back. They do know, they learn how, right. but I don't hear many uh, them taking a course in keyboarding or typing. We used to take a course called typing. Right, there was no emojis back then. Yeah. No emojis. <laughs> So technology has changed dramatically. And I think some of the forces in society uh, are stronger and different and more hostile to faith. So that we are not in a society anymore where you can say to a large group of people, let's sing together Amazing Grace because a lot of people are going to say, what's amazing grace? The increased level, even on our campus, of people who know they're coming to a Christian college, the increase in biblical illiteracy is different. So we have a much bigger challenge here to try and remain a Christian institution than they would have years ago when the general society was more Christian than it is today. The largest growth pattern of people in the society are people who say they have no connection to a church or faith, the nuns. Uh, and that's disturbing because we're following a pattern that was true in Europe that is now very secular. And so I think the challenge to try and remain Christian in an increasingly secular society is one of the biggest challenges that this school has going ahead. I think they come with a lot more baggage. Uh, they, um, or at least pressures from society. Um, sometimes issues with family, sometimes issues with um, their peers. Uh, we have a lot more diverse campus right now, and there's more levels of poverty. poverty. And um, so I, that's one of the reasons why we have broadened our resources for these students with the Counseling Center and the Student Success Center where they can get help with their academic needs and with um, handicap needs, uh, where we have our chaplain's office so involved with them. So there is all those challenges. I, I have to say though, compared to when we were in school, sometimes these students put us to shame with their, their outreach to the world. These kids want to make a difference. And some of them, even that don't come up from a Christian background, want to make a difference in the world. And I think that's why our mission programs have grown so much. Or the compassionate ministries, where they're, they want to help the poor, they want to help the disenfranchised. So I'm, I'm very proud of that part of our student population. And I think that's true for uh, many students across the nation wanting to make a difference. Yeah. We're a place that has those tools for them. I wanna go, you wanna make a difference? Come here, we have all those instruments to help you make a difference in the world. So that's how they've been, the students have been a blessing to me to see their commitment to that.